Home Assistant does mode integration allows you to control Tasmotized devices over MQTT without having to add a ton of YAML code. Let's see this in action! Hello, Kirill Poyansky is here. Home Assistant is the best open source smart home hub and Tasmota is the best open source firmware for ESP8266 based IoT devices. So, let's integrate them. We have four requirements to meet and we are going to start from scratch with requirement number one. You need a MQTT server up and running. One of the most popular one is called Mosquito and you can install it standalone or as Home Assistant add-on. I will show you the latter in details. Go to Supervisor, add-on store and search for Mosquito Broker. Click on it and hit install button. If you already have a MQTT server installed, of course you can use it. And you can skip to this time. Go to Configuration tab. And under Logins, create a username and a password and remove the brackets. The username and the password can be anything you wish. In my case, the username is Smash with the password the like. Save. Go to Info tab again and start the MQTT Mosquito Broker. Then you have to set up the MQTT integration in Home Assistant. This is what you need to do. Now go to Configuration, Integration and it is possible the Home Assistant to find your MQTT integration already. If not, click on Add Integration and search for MQTT. It is the same. I'll do it like that. I'll click on this, Submit, Success. And just like that, I have up and running Mosquito MQTT Broker and added MQTT integration in Home Assistant, which is great. The second requirement is to flash your IoT device with Tasmota firmware version 9.2 or higher. You can find more info of the flashing process in this video of mine or at the official Tasmota page. The third requirement is to configure your Tasmota device to communicate with the MQTT server. This is how. Open your Tasmotized web interface. In my case, it's Son of Basic. Double check that your Tasmota version is above 9.2 or equal to that. And go to Configuration, Configure MQTT. Here you have to type the host of your MQTT broker. In my case, it's the same as the Home Assistant. So change this to this, this address. The port is the default one. Client should stay like that. And here I have to change the username and the password. Smash the like. Topic you can change to whatever you wish. And full topic you can leave it that way. Hit save. The device will restart in a few seconds and you are ready. The fourth and the final requirement is to execute this command in your Tasmota console to configure the native discovery. Go back to your Tasmotized device and this time choose console and execute the following command set option 19 space 0 and hit enter. That's it. We can now continue our Home Assistant Tasmota integration. That was the hardest part. Now it's time for the easiest. Let's start with one little smash of the little like button for the YouTube algorithm. And then we can continue with the actual Home Assistant Tasmota integration. Just a little bit. Go again to Configuration, Integrations. And Tasmota is found again by Home Assistant. Good job. You can just click configure or if you don't see it for some reason you can add it by click on add integration and search for Tasmota. Before we go further you may wish to set your Tasmota device as switch or as light in Home Assistant. Execute this command in your Tasmota console. Set option 30 space 0 for switch and set option 30 space 1 for light. That way the icon of the device will be correctly displayed in Home Assistant. I'll cancel that and I'll click Configure 
submit and that's it pretty easy i'll hit finish and now i have one device added by this tasmota integration this is a device i can click on it i can directly turn it on or off from here as you can see the icon is light bulb i have eight disabled entities that i could easily enable by hitting this and update i have to wait for 30 seconds this to be activated i can quickly do the, the same for the other sensors just to show you what they are doing most of the time you you won't need them but just for the demonstration i'll enable them i'll refresh the page now I can now add all of this stuff to my Home Assistant dashboard by clicking on Add to Lovelace. I'll pick a different card, the card will be Entities and I'll hit Save. If I go to Overview now, I will see everything. IP of the Tasmoto device, the Uptime, MQTT Connect Count, the RSSI and so on and so forth. Great! It's all working. And with that being said, make sure that you hit the subscribe, like and bell buttons if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to add me on Twitter by searching for this username. You can find me on my Discord server as well. Stay safe and don't forget, home smart but not hard. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video.